For the third week in a row, Detroit City Council has postponed the vote to expand ShotSpotter. This time it was delayed as they try to figure out how to pay for the controversial gunshot detection system. Meanwhile, we spoke to people from two different cities, St. Louis and Cincinnati, about their experience using the technology. Among the answers we wanted to know, does it work? Detroit Now's Ray Strickland tells us why that answer is not a simple yes or no. While Detroit continues to consider expanding ShotSpotter in the city, we took a closer look at data from St. Louis and Cincinnati to get a better idea of its impact on crime. The two cities, a part of more than 100 across the country, that have turned to ShotSpotter as a way to address gun violence. But not without controversy, with many questioning if ShotSpotter is effective. And to this day, depending on who you talk to, the jury is still out. In St. Louis, we did not find any impact on violent crime. Dennis Maris is a professor at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. He also co-authored a study that looked at shot spotter data in St. Louis from 2008 to 2018. We looked at gun homicides and aggravated assaults with firearms. And there we did not find any reductions compared to similar neighborhoods without sh shot spotter in St. Louis. But Maris did a similar study in Cincinnati looking at shot spotter data from the years 2017 to 2020. And his findings were much different than St. Louis, albeit a smaller sample size. There we did find a substantial reduction in violent crime, around 40% of gun violence in the areas that it was implemented. Cincinnati police also say the city saw 81 less shootings in 2021 compared to 2020, although homicides stayed the same. For Maris, this doesn't mean Cincinnati is a success and St. Louis is a failure because other crime-fighting efforts need to be considered. But he does believe it's a valuable tool both cities have benefited from with it helping decrease police response times and assisting in investigations. Cincinnati Police Lieutenant Colonel Michael John can attest to that. He says the technology can save lives. The answer to that is yes. Yes, there has. There's been incidents where we've got to the scene much, much quicker than, than we would have if we were waiting for somebody to call 911. But he also says, like with any technology, it's far from perfect. I read every single shooting report uh, that is generated um, in, in the city, and there were occasions where I knew that the, the person shot was in shot spotter territory, and there was no associated uh, activation. He says it's rare for that to happen, but it has. Still, in the end, Lieutenant Colonel John says he would recommend shot spotter for police departments, believing the good that comes with it outweighs the bad. Maris agrees, saying shot spotter as a tool is only as good as the people using it. So you can have all the perfect data of where gunfire happens, but if you don't respond quick enough or you don't investigate thoroughly enough, the results are going to be disappointing. In response to criticism, ShotSpotters sent a statement pushing back against claims it misses gunshots or confuses them for another sound. In the statement, a spokesperson for the company said in part, quote, our system works well and is a proven tool that saves lives and helps law enforcement respond to gunfire incidents with a fast, precise police response to gunfire in cities nationwide. In Detroit, Ray Strickland, Detroit Now News.